I'm Chad with Turf Organics, and today I'm going to show you how to use a spreader. Let's get right to it. So there's many different types of spreader. This is more of a commercial grade, but I'm sure a lot of you homeowners use the smaller Scott spreaders, and that's okay. This is just done on a bigger scale. So everything we do today will be exactly the same, but you'll just have to do it on a smaller scale with a smaller spread. Now, and there's numbers on the front of the spreader, and what we're gonna, we're not gonna quite go into those today, uh, but the bags of fertilizer that you buy should tell you what number you have to adjust the spreader on. It'll, that right there will tell you how much fertilizer you're putting out. So whatever fertilizer you use, find the bag and make sure you have the right number. What I'm going to show you today is how to use this without leaving streaks or stripes in your lawn like you see on screen. So what we'll do here is we'll find our starter point. Because this little bed's in the way, I'm going to start here. So the best way to do this isn't to open the spreader and then go. You want to have momentum and open it as you go. That way it's spreading evenly because if you open it up right now, fertilizer is going to start dropping. And then once you start to push, it's going to push a big ring out and you'll have a big green spot there. So what we're going to do is we're going to get started. Moving, moving, moving. Stop. As we saw, it got to the edge there, so that's when we decided to stop. Now, you're gonna get some around on the concrete, and that's okay. Expect to blow it off. Do not leave the fertilizer. It'll stain, and it'll go down in the sewer drain. So make sure you blow it off. So as, a, as I'm gonna go here is, with a spreader, you never wanna make turns. Because what you're gonna do there is, you're gonna dump a lot of fertilizer in the inside spot and spread it too far out and around. So it's gonna be very uneven. Dark spot here a lot lighter turning. So what we do is, so we came this way. So instead for turning with our fertilizer open, we're gonna come up where I stopped here. We're gonna back up three point turns. And then we're gonna go from here to that sidewalk. What I like to do first is get the borders out of the way. Stop. Now I stopped back here because I saw the fertilizer was hitting there. Like I said, on the smaller Scott spreaders, you're gonna be able to get closer, but watch the fertilizer as it spreads around, and then that's when you stop. And then again here, I'm not gonna make a turn. I'm gonna come forward, come back, three-point turn, take on the spreader, have it moving. All in one motion. Getting to the SDR here, stop. Again, kick back, go here now. You see, you don't go right on your property line. There's a little bit left of this property line, and that's good because it spreads to the side here. So then here we go. Moving, 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 moving. Close spreader. Back up. Get rolling. Open. Leaving it open. Pushing, pushing, pushing. Get the bed there. Stop. Come back. This way. Get moving. Open. I'm going to come all the way up. Now stop. So what I've done is, I've done a strip around the outside, and then I cleaned up into here. The only spot left is this middle section. There's several ways you can do it. The way I would clean this up is, finish going forward here, that front's done, stop, come back, go right through the middle. So, that's it. We just fertilized this whole yard, and it all got evenly covered. So there's not gonna be any streaking spots or greener and less green, that is an even fertilization. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head over to the other side. Now, as you can see, this is a very small section between the driveway and the neighbor's lawn. So there's two ways we can do that. There's a guard here on the side that you can put down and that'll stop, but not all spreaders have this guard. Um, and you still have to adjust something underneath. So it does get a little more complicated here. What I recommend doing for all homeowners is to buy one of these, a nice hand spreader. They're 10 to $15. The brands or whatever don't matter, but get a hand spreader, adjust it out. Now, again, this has numbers on the front. It's not gonna be perfect as well. You're gonna have to kind of watch the application. You're usually gonna wanna be between three uh, to five on these. I'm gonna stick with four here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna scoop it up in here, have it adjust it, and it's, it's the same concept here. Get it spinning, 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 release. 
But actually now what I'm gonna do is I noticed not enough was coming out. It was spreading very lightly compared to what we did on the front of the lawn. Now we're using a lot of fertilizer here as a good example so you can watch it spread. So what I'm gonna do is kick it up to five. Here we go, get it spinning, open it up. There we go, nice even coverage. So I'm gonna walk along, make sure I'm getting coverage everywhere. Again, you can see where it's stopping. I'm right on the edge of the driver. I'm getting a little bit on there, but that's okay. And then we're gonna stop. I'm gonna come, switch around to this side. Hit this area, you can spin it lighter. And then here we go. Do a nice little sideways crab walk. Fertilize all in, back, and boom. So that covered the whole side again. And that was a very even application because you can watch it being spread out and we didn't get all into the neighbor's yard and we didn't cover the driveway fully. Now, like I said, we're gonna have fertilizer on the driveway and in that curb. We do not wanna leave one bit of that left because not that's just gonna stain, but it's gonna go in these sewer drains and that's what we want. So make sure when you're done to get a blower and blow everything off really, really well to keep it cleaned up and looking good. I'm Chad with Turf Organics and you have a great rest of your day.